Lucas Media. So Shakur Stevenson did a uh, interview with Say Cheese Sean Cotton. Man, shout out to Sean for giving his platform to fighters. But Shakur talked about several different things, and I'll break down um, what I took. And he did a couple of parts. First said that he Frank Martin was offered a million dollars for the for the fight against him. Now, from what uh, some people may remember, Frank Martin, Frank Martin, and Shakur was supposed to fight. However, Frank Martin backed out of the fight, and we really didn't know why. I mean, Frank Martin is with the PBC side. Shakur is with top rank, so many thought to believe that the politics got involved. Shakur says that Frank Martin said it was the money was too wasn't enough. However, according to Shakur, his highest fight was two hundred fifty thousand. Honestly, I don't know. Like I said, I really think politics came into place, and now that you see that Frank Martin is fighting Tank Davis, now he he talked about Sean asked him about him and Tank and sparring, and he also said Shakur says that. They had some good work in there. He not going to say he got the best of Tank and uh, Tank got the best of him. But he said that he got good work versus Tank says his story was totally different. Now, one thing he did say is that Tank takes the, re the least risk um, trying to fight people. Now, I'll say this. Tank has been on the Floyd Mayweather's plan. I'm going to make a separate video, but, you know, they got beef. They don't got beef, but Tank was literally being guided by Floyd and Floyd's handlers. And you're right. They do want Tank to fight the least amount of the least risk while making the most money. And he's uh, he's done that. Because um, when you look at Tank's resume, he fought Ryan Garcia at 135. And then who else did he fight? You could argue Leo Santa Cruz, but Tank was way bigger. Uh, was it Eastside Pitbull Cruz? I guess you could try to argue that. But where has Tank had that fight to where you don't know who the winner gonna be? You haven't seen you haven't seen that yet. Even when he fought Ryan, he made Ryan come down to a certain weight, and then he put a, a rehydration clause on it. Sean did ask Shakur why is he so confident fighting Tank? And uh, Shakur said that he's more accomplished than Tank and that he's a three-time world champion, three different weight classes. I will say this about Tank Davis. Mayweather team, man, the uh, PBC, they real slick at promoting because do y'all remember when Tank Davis fought Mario Barros June 16, 2021? They made it seem like Tank Davis won a world title, but he really won the WBA regular <laughs> world title. And people don't know that, you know, the casual fans see tank them. They're marketing to just the casual fans because they don't understand the difference in belts. They don't know that there's a WBA regular, a WBA super. And then you got those other sanctioning bodies in, in their belts. So to them, they just promoted it all tanks, a champion. But even though tank was a WBA regular champion, there's a W there was a WBA super champion. But to the casual fans, they don't know. All they know is Tank won a belt. One of the issues with boxing, but, you know, I digress. Um, now, Shakur says that uh, people are fight are offered to fight him, but he says no. And he says that it's based on his skill ability. And I honestly, I think that Shakur is a very skilled fighter. He is. But Shakur, one thing we can't. We can't deny. We got to keep it real over here because you said you're a real, you know, you're a real ninja. You turned down the Devin Haney fight, honestly. And he talked about that, too. Shout out to let me salute to Shakur for staying on code. He did say that he going to root for his people. And he was rooting for Devin Haney. And that's my problem with the boxing. We always trying to be fair. But you see, Ryan has his fan base. People ride for Ryan. People ride riding with Canelo. They'll have whole countries behind them, but they make they try to make, you know, the fight fans like us feel bad for wanting to ride with our fighters. But then, you know, you got these people coming out of Mexico, Argentina, Puerto Rico, you know, they got and they got an entire country behind them. So shout out to him for that. He said that 
that he he wished Devin he wished Devin Haney would won and he wanted to be the one to take his O and that hey and he also did say also that Ryan Garcia should be banned for life if the test results come back and I agree I agree because Ryan could have hurt him um, he also did say that Ryan did look different going in that fight even I noticed that I don't remember Ryan having that kind of power so now that the PDs came out. You know, that might have had something to do with it. I don't care about the extreme fans coming on here talking about uh, Ryan didn't cheat when clearly, you know, he tested positive. Um, and we're going to see the results come back on, at really, where they're going to be retesting a couple more days. And one more thing I'm, I'm going to say to the Ryan Garcia fans. So, he's innocent, but everybody else that test dirty was guilty? Or just him and Canelo? Him and Canelo was the only ones that was... Um, that was compromised you know somebody was messing with their results you know people injecting stuff in meat and all of that so um oh one more thing Shakur did say that he was uh, his last fight was a you know what we call a snooze fest he did mention that people are saying he had one bad fight and he's trash and he really hurt his hand if you go back before the fight honestly Shakur just like in football, if your hands touch the ball, you should be able to catch it. If you go in there, step in the ring, it ain't no excuses. You could have you could have pulled out the fight if your hand was really hurt. And you're right. People do have off nights in the ring. However, you clown other people's performances for having off nights. So, of course, people are going to clown you for having one. But I just want to give my quick thoughts about, the, about part one. Tell me what y'all think.